guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Amber, but I also like to go by Sky and Nick Cringe, just so you know, those three options of names are my real names, but Amber is close to my real names, like, there's like two letters that you need to add on, anyways, <coughs> enough of this personal information, so today's video is going to be a unique kind of video, I haven't done any of these types of videos at all. Also, if you're wondering why I'm speaking in a whisper voice, <laughs> it's because um, it's late right now while I'm recording this, so um, I need to keep my voice low so I don't wake up my family since they're asleep. I think my sister might still be awake though. I don't know, probably watching Miraculous on Netflix and loving it. <clears throat> Anyways, so as you should, well, could tell by the title this video is going to be a list of things you may or may not know or have seen about my first season of halves which has only had four episodes yeah i really suck at series but hopefully season two will be a little bit longer and yes that's right if you didn't know this there is going to be a season two of halves so yay <laughs> all right so, basically, in this video, I'm going to watch every single episode of Half so far. And as in season one, like we completed season one, but so far on the whole Half series. Um, I'm going to point out some mistakes. I'm going to share some theories. Well, my, you know. Anyways, uh, you probably should get the hint. So. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be pointing out a lot of cool things and halves that you may or may not have known before. And hopefully after this video, you will be educated a whole lot more than you were already after watching my half series. Yay! Alright, so without further ado, let's jump right into the video. I have the video set up, so um, I am a little bit frustrated at the moment because I was screen recording and... It turns out that I actually wasn't screen recording when I thought I was, so I watched this whole video and pointed out mistakes and such without recording. Yeah, so I'm a little bit frustrated at the moment. So, um, anyways, let's just press play again for me. <laughs> okay. The world is full of halves. That was a common quote for the half series. The very first episode of halves, and I mean like from months ago. I don't mean this episode, but I mean like the old halves. Sorry. I mean like the old halves. Because the old halves was months ago when I was horrible at making videos. It was when I was screen recording and flipping through my screenshots from Gotcha Live or Gotcha Verse or Gotcha Studio, things like that. And let me tell you right now, it, it did not go so well. Um, I did horrible at editing, like, like, you know, the whole, not really subtitles, but like when it says the world is full of hats, like right now. How, it's, how it shows the words on the screen. I was terrible at that. The screen would mix itself up and, okay, I can, okay, let's just continue. <laughs> demons and goddesses really ever fell in love or even got along, obviously, because they're demons and goddesses. Here's a little mistake, I guess I'll make count as a mistake. Can we have that mistake count up here? Amberly? In the future? She probably won't do it because she's too lazy. I'm also insulting myself, so. <laughs> Anyways, um, also, yeah, I didn't mention gods at this point, so that was a little mistake, because demons and goddesses really ever fell in love. Why didn't I mention gods? Because there's female demons, and then there's gods, and you never know what 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 sexuality these these gods and demons and goddesses could have. Anyways, um yeah, so that's a mistake I guess. Um also just a heads up, 
I am probably going to be skipping some periods of time in these episodes because I don't want to bore you guys to death, which I'm probably doing right now. Okay, so let's continue. Here's something that I guess counts as a mistake. So the guy that is executing Lucifer and Yumi, the wonderful Takahashi parents, um, the dude that's executing them is supposed to be a demon, and I totally forgot to add his horns in his tail, and I realized that in the progress of making this, and I'm like, oh shoot. So what I do is... Give it a second. When he pulled out his weapon, I make the horns and the tail fade on him like it's an instinct for him, for his, I don't know, species of demons. I have no idea. He's a creepy demon though, don't you think? He's ugly. So, um, I didn't have a name for him, I just named him NPC while I put him on there, because that was the best thing I could do. Anyways. I made throughout these episodes. I apologize, I didn't point those out. Because, well, I'm skipping through this these episodes fast, you know? Um, I make a lot of grammar mistakes and stuff because I sometimes type really fast. Um, there's autocorrect. There, I could get distracted and totally forget what I'm typing about. And yeah, just the whole misspelling a word or sentence thing. Another thing, so the music that's playing at this part, listen, this is, um, if you have watched my Halo But No Wing series, you may find this um, background music familiar, because I used this background music in the first and final episode of the Halo But No Wing series. Um, it became one of my favorite and most useful background music selections for my series and maybe even just videos for YouTube in general. Um, it, because it's cool, it's calm and casual, it's probably, um, oh, it's just one of the best um, kinds of background music that I need for my videos. So credit to that. Don't copyright me, please. <laughs> I'm not taking your credit. <laughs> Anyways, um, no. Here's a thing I don't know if counts as a mistake. So when Yoko gets down from the coffee table and she's kneeling down, um, I'm a little bit, like, I don't know. It just feels really messy to me, like sloppy, you know? You know when you make your videos and you just have one character go to one place and you feel like it's not out of, of a motion order? We'll call it that, a motion, an order of motion. Um, I didn't feel like I had a good order of motion for um, Yoko when she was getting down from the coffee table, when she was standing up there and now she's kneeling down on the ground. I'm like, should I put an order of motion there? And I, I was thinking that when I was editing this, I'm like, well, it's already there, so I, I mean, I'm lazy, so let's just leave it there. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I apologize if it messed with you guys' eyes, too. This is when Amber and Lucifer, not Lucifer, oh my gosh, Kaito and Lucifer look a lot alike. I even got their characters, like mistaken like I would accidentally put Lucifer on the screen instead of Kaito in some scenes so yeah um Amber and Kaito discovered Lucifer's old journal from the past um yeah <laughs> to 
episode two. Okay, guys. So, you the, okay? Okay, this is hard to explain. So it's morning time now, and last night <clears throat> I was I finished doing episode one of the half series, saying like you know lists of things you may or may not know about halves. So right now we're about to do episode two. So for some reason. I have to cough a lot this morning, and I may or may not have a few voice cracks, because I literally had a few voice cracks from talking earlier, and it was not fun. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's just begin episode two, Warriors. It's got to load, which just sucks. Yes. <laughs> was when Amber and Kaito uh, were listening to Yoko and they discovered that they that their parents used to be warriors. They had secret weapons and they realized that Yoko was given treasures when they first arrived. My cat is right next to me and it's so cute. He's just, okay. Anyways, so let's continue. a grammar correction autocorrect of course had to come in and say you your room as in you are room i'm like oh come on autocorrect here's something i will tell you from a little a little bit like behind the scenes so kaito as um you guys probably don't know if you aren't following me on Instagram because I made an Instagram post about like people who are supposed to be my family members and haves that aren't my family members in real life. They're just friends of mine in real life. Like most of these characters in the series are friends from real life. Like Kaito is a real life friend, Itsuki is a real life friend, Raylan's a real life friend. Um uh at the end of the final episode, you saw Marilyn and Darkstar walk into the room, the pink cat and uh, the brown cat. Those were friends from real life. Um, let's see. Um, who else is from real life? Oh yeah, TK and Shadow are friends from real life. Um, I'll point out, oh yeah, I'm stupid. I keep forgetting what friends I have. There's Anthony and Celine, they're friends of mine in real life. Um, so yeah, majority of these people are friends in real life. Like, Yuris and Yalan are made up, they're imaginary characters. Uh, Yoko's also made up. Um, Pierce is made up. Um, I think that may be it? I don't know. Anyway, so at this point, and it's like a behind the scenes thing, I was asking Kaito in real life, I don't have his permission to mention his real name, so I'm not- I'm just gonna say that he's Kaito, because Kaito is not his real name. Most of our names, like, pretty much all of our names aren't our real names in real life. <laughs> um, Anthony's name is close to his real name. I think he might have, like, he- anyways, I don't know what to- s okay. I am not a morning person. It's not really even morning, it's like- 12 in the afternoon or something i literally woke up at 11 in the morning so yeah anyways i just took a shower so yeah i'm a little bit energized so anyways about the whole behind the scenes thing i was texting kaito i was asking him hey uh you said you wanted a katana as your secret weapon and because kaito and i we were like the main you know we were the main people working on the series like from the very beginning, like, at the very first original Halves episode, uh, Kaito loved that. He just really loved that episode. Um, I think he actually was- he was one of the characters in that episode. He was the wolf that was chained up. Um, I forgot what his name was. Um, 
but yeah we have been working on halves together like with all the ideas we were actually texting each other last night asking like each other about what season two should be about what changes will be made and yeah we won't give any sneak peeks speak sneak peeks or spoilers yet sorry <sighs> i can't talk today no anyways we were texting each other and he said he wanted a red katana and i'm like okay well, actually, he didn't say red katana. He wanted a black katana. Uh, I asked him if he wanted it red. And he said, it could be a black katana, but when I infuse my demon energy into it, it can be, it can turn red. And so I'm like, oh, shoot, I already made it a red katana, so. Because it took him a while to respond to that, so I just put a red katana. And then he told me black. I'm like, well, um, let's just say that it's red at first when it's given into the right hands of the demon. So yeah. Yeah. This is when it turns black and Kaito thinks he broke it. So, so this video is uh, really short. It's three minutes and thirty nine seconds, and and so I just had to add something like some sort of humor or at least an extra part to the end. So I added Anthony and uh, Brooke running across the screen. At this point, Anthony texted me the day I uploaded this that Brooke had a new OC, and she named herself Celine. So, I mean, he just texted me that, and I don't know if it's true or not, because sometimes Ensign gets things messed up, sometimes I get things, like, we get a lot of things mixed up and messed up and stuff. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know what to put at the end. <laughs> Sorry that that video was really short, by the way. Alright, moving on to episode three. Wait, why am, why am I scrolling down? That's weird. Okay, so I have episode 3 set up. It is called Together. This is when Amber and Kaito get together with the whole gang, you know, with all of our friends. So, yeah. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Sneak attack. So at this point, I don't think it was a mistake, because I was kind of thinking, like, does Amber really have to tap her earring all the time just to pull out a weapon or a hologram item or something? So I'm like, alright, let's just make some sort of reflex, I don't know, like, I, I don't know the word for it, like, basically a kind of attack, like a reflex attack, so... Oh yeah. This is when Amber gets her hair cut. So, I'm gonna point out a little something here and then show it to you guys at the end too. If you take a close look at this, um, this character's shadow, and you compare it to the shadow at the final episode with like the final boss, um, at the Castle of Laws, you may realize that this shadow is the same person who fought Amber and Kaito, and all the other people, like, knocked them out and stuff, like, cast, casted a spell on them. Uh, it's Pierce. So basically, Pierce wasn't only a troublemaking spy, but he was the law creator who sent himself in so he could find out where Amber and Kaito is himself, and just some people that way, I guess. I don't really know. <coughs> that was probably my one of my favorite parts of editing this. I just, for some reason, I like making like 
interesting sound effects for the videos, like, like you know, the hair, the scissors snipping, uh, the girl scream, like, they just, for some reason, they just seem like sound effects that stand out to me. Um, even though a lot of the sound effects in the series, like footsteps or thuds, those are pretty cool, but like, I don't know. These just sound really f satisfying, I don't know. Grammar correction. I probably tried doing this word a thousand times, putting na no instead of now, and then <clears throat> so I'm really angry about that. Here's actually a little bit of a oh, no, no, please no. Oh my gosh. I apologize for my fingers today. Um, so, a little mistake. If you look at Kaito, he's still staring at Amber while Yoko is talking. That is disrespectful. How dare you, Kaito. I realized that while taking the screenshots that he was still staring at Amber when, there's, when he's supposed to be listening to Yoko. So I'm like, oh, well, um, okay. So I eventually just had him. And this is when everyone comes together. So Yoko is sleeping, Amber and Kaito are on the coffee table, Itsuki's standing up, Anthony's standing up, Celine's standing up, Yuris is standing up, Yon is standing up. Here's a mistake. I actually forgot to change the clothes of Yuris and Yalan since it's the next day. And I eventually had a little, like... Oh, yeah. For some reason... I... <clears throat> I honestly can't remember if I was gonna put that they didn't know this for the last 13 years, or if they it just... They're just shocked they didn't know this for the last 13 years. So I'm like... What do I do here? So, I don't know. I just put they in. Yeah, okay. <laughs> See, this is when Kaito points out ears to Nyan. <clears throat> Sorry, I have no idea why my throat's like this today. So, um, Kaito is pointing out that Yuris and Yana are wearing the same clothes as yesterday, and then... <coughs> that was sort of like a breaking the fourth wall thing for me. <laughs> a little cousin and cousin love. Don't take this so weirdly, Itsuki. <laughs> this is when Kaito is asking me and Sunny a bunch of questions. So this may seem a little weird. Celine is jumping. Oh, come on, I swear. Thank you. I swear my fingers today. So Celine, uh, she jumps on Anthony's tail, and that's a little weird. But Selena in real life, if if she is Brooke in real life, because Anthony, I don't know what's going on. I don't know because Celine, either it was Brooke or Celine. I don't know. I'm really confused. So Brooke, I'm pretty sure it was Brooke, because she gave me a Roblox name and it's her name, and I'm getting all these YouTube accounts confused. So. She commented saying, hey, you have a character that's in most of your videos, it's Selena. I'm like, wait, aren't you Brooke and isn't Celine Brooke? And I'm like, what is going on? So, um, yeah, I honestly don't know who is who, but 
Brooke in real life is really kawaii. Uh, and since, well, you know, Celine is supposedly Brooke, I had to have her be kawaii. So you guys can barely hear this, but there is laughing in the backgrounds for Celine. I was thinking of putting, like, a baby's laughter, but that would be way too weird. Especially for Celine when she's watching this. She would be like, what the frick is happening? Unless she would really, I don't know, enjoy it? I don't know. Yeah. Anyways. So... I put like a woman's laughter in the background and you can barely hear it like the music is just way too loud for it but it was easy for me to catch like if you listen really closely <laughs> didn't have much of it though here's a little mistake when Raylan's w getting into the scene like walking in or well, running in and um when she starts talking I don't have a shadow underneath her I'm like watching this, I'm like, what am I doing with my life? I'm like, dang it, I forgot to add a shadow. So it's just weird. It's like she has no spirit. Anyways, so, um, I added a little humor here. Raylan had no idea that Amber got her hair cut last night by this random dude that broke into their house. And, um, yeah, so, Amber did not take that in a fun way. She hated it. I hated it. Yeah. Something tells me she didn't like that very much. She didn't. So, when my family was watching this, at this point, when Yoko's telling Kaito that Amber and Kaito are going to have to leave the house soon and start their own life, my family pointed out that she's holding a dagger or a knife or something while telling him this, <laughs> and it's sort of like a threat, and Kaito shows no, like, shocked reaction to the knife. <laughs> He's just playing it cool like, oh, you're kicking us out? Oh, Yoko, but... Okay. <laughs> Alright, so Amber walks in. Kaito, d Kaito doesn't want Amber to know about this because it's the wrong time. They have all their cousins and their friends over and hanging out, ready to team up against the Castle of Laws and defeat laws and make new ones and just help the miserable the miserable goddesses and gods and demons and well kind of doesn't really want to ruin that for amber and uh yoko realizes that <laughs> I used the song again. So, I totally forgot that I used the song again. So, I used the same song I used for the first episode. And for In Halo Beno Wings, the first and final episode. Um, this song, I just, I just really love this background music. I really recommend it for your YouTube videos. See? Kaito doesn't want Yoko to tell her, so Yoko realizes that, and she makes up an, an excuse saying that she needs to process some things, because, um, like, a dude broke into her house last night and cut her, well, kiddo's hair, even though she's not her real kiddo, and, um, sort of like a daughter from another mother thing, I don't know, um, and so, you know, she just makes up an excuse. Honestly, she, everyone might need to process some things, because a dude broke into Yoko's house and cut Amber's hair. You don't know what he could have 
done to all of them. He could have killed them right there on the spot. But he let it slide, and he just let them want to go to the Castle of Laws and face him and them themselves. Um, also, more things she needs to process is why she's saying like she needs Kaito and Amber to leave the house soon. Also, she doesn't want to break Amber's heart right then and there, just like she kind of did with Kaito. But Kaito's the older brother. He's like a few months older than Amber, and I don't know. Amber's different from Kaito. Amber's much different than Kaito. She doesn't look that much like him. She has green eyes, um, not tan skin. They both have brown hair. Um, one's a Neko and one's a werewolf. Um, and then you see Kaito over here with tan skin and red eyes. And his brown hair is much darker than Amber's hair. So, yeah. Um, I was talking to Kaito about this. I was saying, like, hey, we don't really look anything alike. So, should we change that or something? And Kaito says, well, it kind of makes sense since you're a goddess and I'm a demon. And I'm like, very true. So we just kind of left it like that for the evidence. I don't know. <laughs> Lord, oh my gosh, I swear. My fingers today. I hate my fingers today. I hate my chicken fingers today. Anyways, so this is when you see TK and Shadow looking for the Takahashi children. They're looking in like the western or something. I don't know. Um, and so they're just like talking about it. And I decided to put in a humor scene as well. Um, cause Shadow in real life, like, a lot of my friends in real life are super funny. Cause TK, she's, cr if you're watching this TK, no offense, but she's really crazy in real life. She's, um, sh let's just say she's energetic, like, she's strong and all that. Um, Shadow is really funny, and, um, even though she can get serious about times when the situation needs to be serious, um, but she's funny, uh, Kaito in real life is really funny, super funny, a lot of my friends in real life are super funny, I have a lot of funny friends, no, what, I have a lot of friends and I'm actually really surprised about it, um, anyways, <laughs> this is sort of a funny part cause, uh, Shadow says wait and TK thinks that Shadow saw the Takahashis or something, and she actually just wants something to eat. <laughs> TK says you're dead to me. <laughs> so that was uh, episode three of Together. Let's move on to episode four. Alright guys, so we are now on the final episode of season one of Halves. Episode four. I am disappointed in myself, myself still, I'm ashamed. So anyways, um, this episode is called A Torn End, it's the season finale, and there's also a music video in this. I cringe not only watching the music video part, but making it, cause the song for it is basically a love song, but I'm just lucky you didn't say anything like, you're my girlfriend, or I love you with all my heart, or something weird like that that's definitely going to make things awkward, or, like much more awkward than it already is. Um, but it sounded a little bit like a sibling song if you like listen and watch closely, I guess. So yeah, but this is the longest episode out of all of them. It's 9 minutes and 46 seconds. It's the final battle. It's the final countdown. Okay, sorry. Um, don't call me rape. Anyways, uh, let's just begin. So, Amber's running in because she, she loves Yoko. Because Yoko has raised her ever since she was a baby. Kaito and Amber think of Yoko as a second mother. Because, you know, she's raised them their whole lives. Uh, yeah. 
So basically, to get to the Castle of Laws, everyone is going into a teleportation box, and, um, Yoko's wearing, not wearing, uh, holding a sphere sort of a thing, and she's gonna teleport them from the teleportation box to a hallway in the Castle of Laws. So there they are. What I really like about this part, I'm opening all the characters' eyes, and you see all their unique eye colors. Like, let's just take a look at all of them. They sort of even match to, like, the beat of the song. So, let's take a look at all their eye colors. I really love their eye colors. Amber has green. Kaito has, like, a dark red. Yuris has pink. Yalan has purple. Uh, Raylan has red and white. And... Itsuki has like a light red, Celine has brown eyes, and Ensony has like a, a pastel pink and like pastel blue eyes. They all have really unique eye colors and I love it. So here it goes. So at this point, they're all splitting up, and it's Raylan and it's Raylan and Itsuki are the first victims to get <laughs> Pierce. <laughs> so Pierce is the shadow, the same guy who cut Amber's hair um, on episode three, and um, what he does is. He casts a sleeping spell on Raylan and Itsuki, so they fall asleep, of course. So here is Anthony and Celine. So, um, as you can see, Pierce, he is knocking out Anthony and Celine. You know, watch. I want listen to the music, cause this part of. The background music, the intense background music, is actually pretty cool. Oof, it's amazing. So, Yalin is being the hero and protecting his girlfriend. Yeah. And so Pierce and Yalin are talking about, you know, random stuff. <laughs> Talking about, like, video games. <laughs> um, not really. So, um, you know, they're, like, kind of doing that intense sort of a conversation thing. It's like, m less talking, more fighting. So if you're confused about what Pierce does at this point to y'all, he basically curses, not really curses for because the curse is soon broken, I think curses are last for like a long time, um, but he basically spells, you know, um, casts a spell or yeah, I guess it's a curse on Yalan, and it makes him evil and want to fight against his friends, so he starts choking Yiris, and he's forced to throw her in the dungeon, so... <laughs> it sucks! Everything starts to suck because everyone's just getting knocked out and stuff. <laughs> so here, we were revealed to Pierce. Pierce like a neon guy. <laughs> It's just the best thing I could think up as a, of a super villain, guys. Don't think that he's the Joker. Anyways, so yes. So this is when they start fighting. But Pierce can teleport, and they recently found out just now. So Amber's knocked down, and... Pierce thinks it's easy to do that, and just- He's basically a coward, like, he's just teleporting away. At this point, we see that Pierce is about to kill Amber, but then- 
Yoko's there. So, if you don't know what happened, Yoko is basically watching over uh, Kaito and Amber because she wants to defend them, you know? And she sees that Amber is about to die. So what she does is she switches places with Amber. She teleports herself into Amber's position, and Amber is teleported to the side, away from Pierce. And so, Pierce stabs Yoko instead of Amber. It's horrible, though. Because, you know, they're watching their second mother die, laying there on the ground. So, Yoko is saying her last words and sentences to Kaito and Amber. And she says, I love you, my kiddos. And kiddos was always a nickname for them. <laughs> So at this point, Kaito, he gets mad. He gets so mad, like, he goes from sad to angry, and watch. His katana turns red, so he's infusing his demon energy into it, and then... BAM! Look at his eyes, they're glowing red. I really love his eyes at this point, because his eyes are glowing red, which means he's angry, and he's proving he's a demon, and it's just so cool. Also, if you were wondering what Pierce is, Pierce is sort of like the demon from episode one, I guess. He doesn't have horns or a tail, because that's a natural instinct, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> I kind of realized that I forgot to add horns and a tail, but I'm like, you know, he's just going to be like that demon from the beginning, you know? So, Kaito can fly when he's like that, when he's mad, upset, frustrated, stressed. Um, he starts yelling at Pierce, like, he, he's like, you, at this point, you could tell that he's boiling angry, you know? So what they do is Amber and Kaito do some teamwork, yeah. Um, what Kaito does, he like throws it. <laughs> so wow. The next night. I was up, so this is going into the music video part. I'm like I started laughing when I was watching this. Um Cause I'm like, it goes from so intense and dramatic to just calm and sad and peaceful. I'm like, what am I doing? You Let's not get ourselves copyrighted. Anyway, so it gets all awkward. <laughs> Hold on, I'll, I can watch this. Cause I don't ever wanna close my eyes. I really liked it when they were, cause what I had to do is I had to screen record individually, Amber and Kaito, and then put them on Kind Master, and then I had to just zoom in so the watermark isn't showing life hacks people and so yeah i had a perfectly good walking scene even though some parts of the green screen from behind them are showing and there is some weird like glitchy things going on in their hair and stuff so here they're having flashbacks of their past i really wanted to make flashbacks of when kaito and amber were younger so they could just you know like, when they were... Ugh. I, I really regret making these flashbacks. But I really wanted to show what happened in the episodes and how much has changed since then. And I'm like, should I make them as, like, you know, younger kids and being with Yoko? Because, like, 
It just seems like the most reasonable thing to do. Common sense, people. It's, uh, so, I just got... I'm a little bit disappointed in myself again. I'm ashamed of myself. I could have done something way cooler than just showing random flashbacks of old episodes, which is probably boring people out of their minds. Hmm. You yeah. So now Amber starts singing. This is great. Wow. It's amazing. Once again, the walking scene is beautiful. I love it. Even though there's some parts that I wish were in there. So they start singing. Yeet. Amber, you really sound like yourself at that point. Not being rude. <laughs> I think. Anyways, let's just continue. I don't know how to describe things like these. So, I wish I could have done something better at this point. Maybe even show Yumi and Lucifer looking down on their children at heaven. Whoa, but I just had to put them singing for the next minute. Like that, and it's probably boring. So here, they are. I totally forgot. I didn't... I was so lazy, and I didn't put the next morning. And so... I just had Amber and Kaito sitting outside by the water. And then TK and Shadow come in. And Shadow says that she found something by Yoko in the castle. Relaxing sound effect. So basically, the code on this sheet of paper if you don't know what the code is meant for, it's basically a code that links to a video of someone filming Lucifer and Yumi back in the past, talking about what they were gonna do if the royalty found out about their love, and what they were gonna do with their babies if they do die. And so Marilyn and Darkstar come in saying that, you know, they're gonna take care of that, and Yumi's a little bit worried. Huh. Here's a mistake. So I totally realized at this point that Amber isn't wearing her earring. So I'm like, oh no, how confusing is this? So basically, I just made up an excuse and said that it's going to be a new, I don't know, thing that like ability for the earring that it can turn invisible whenever Amber's not wearing like her outfit to fight 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 with all her might this is stupid okay. so Amber's being sweet and she's inviting Shadow and TK to watch the video with Kaito and Amber because well they want to be friends they want to change their ways and become one with the friendship so here is the recording of Lucifer and Yumi, and then here comes Marilyn and um, Darkstar. Okay. <laughs> so this is why I'm putting Shadow has the humor. Wonder how this got filmed. You're ruining the moment, Shadow. I'm kidding. She's actually making this more funny. Wait, no, 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 I'm, I messed with Amber. So Amber thinks that she should call, like, since Kaito and Amber are sort of like superheroes, she wants to call them something. So Amber decides to call them Haz, which is the title of the series. The reason why she wants to call them Haz, it's because, well, one of them is a goddess, and one of them is a demon. Amber is a werewolf, and she has cat blood in her veins, you know? And like saying goes with um, Kaito, he has werewolf blood in his veins, too. Really weird description I'm having here. Anyways. 
it's the end for now because there is going to be a season two ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls so thank you guys for listening because it could have bored you guys out of your mind <laughs> guys thank you so much for watching don't forget if you haven't subscribed subscribe already smash that like button to break your screen i'm kidding don't actually do that please i don't i don't want to take the blame on that one so um but you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to if you think my channel is horrible be that way then anyways um i want to thank you guys for watching once again um i can't wait for have season two to come out i'm working on a trailer for it but i'm also going to be uploading some normal videos like this one sort of so stay tuned for more so yes peace